What up, guys? Mad Viking Toy Channel. Got some um, breaking WWE news. Uh, really broke again last night, but I didn't feel like making a really late video. I'd rather look a little bit more live. Uh, <laughs> but I'm still yawning. Anyways, news on Shelton Benjamin. There is some big breaking news in this, but news on Shelton Benjamin. He actually might be cleared to return somewhere uh, in 2017. So we still might get to see Shelton Benjamin somewhere down the road. Uh, I guess that's better than nothing. He's had a successful surgery, and I guess he's working on a recovery, and the WWE is still interested in him, so I guess that's a good thing. Somebody with talent's coming back. Um, believe it or not, there's somebody making a biopic movie on Chris Benoit's life and tragic ending. Uh, I don't know if that's going to hit a movie theater or what, or straight to DVD, but that could be a little bit, uh, it could be interesting, I guess, but it could be weird, too. Wonder who the hell signed on to do that. Um, the WWE is cracking down on Cody Rhodes because he's becoming uh, quite the internet sensation with all of his um, indie travels and world travels wrestling. And, of course, he's using the Rhodes name, which is his father's surname, the WWE. I don't even know how they think they have the right to tell him he can't use it. But they're cracking down and telling him he can't use it. Well, if he's just smart, I would say F you and just change uh, from R O R O R H O D E S to... R O or R H O A D E S. If uh, all Rhino had to do was change one letter out of his name from uh, Rhino and ECW to Rhino R R Y H and WWE, and you get away with it, well, Rhodes can do it too. Or just go R O A D S, whatever, just to get around it. But um, as I read last night that they're cracking down, now I read today that they're negotiating with him somehow to keep his surname. You know, if they want this guy to come back at some point, it's probably a good thing not to piss him off. You know, I still can't believe the WWE thought they owned the Dudley Boys' name because they showed up there one day with their name when they were the Dudley Boys for probably 15 years before they ever got to the WWE. You know, how in the hell that ever became an issue is beyond me. Um, oh. Well, before I get into that, um, Alberto Del Rio is holding a press conference today in Mexico, and I'm sure it'll be on the internet sometime today or tomorrow, and he's discussing his WWE issues, and I'm sure he's going to clear the water, clear the air about his supposed drug violation, which I've already read is bogus, it's bullshit. He had already quit the company before uh, this ever came out. It's just the WWE trying to bury him on the way out. But he's going to hold a press conference today, and I'm sure he's going to air some dirty laundry, and I'm sure it's going to be good, and you're not going to want to miss it. Um, this is Tyson Kidd's last month, last week of his WWE contract, and it's very highly unlikely, I've reported this before, that WWE is going to rehire him in any capacity. Uh, it's a tragic end for a great wrestler. The dude had super talent. Oh, and they, what I read is basically the neck injury that he got from Samoa Joe's mu uh, neck buster, muscle buster. It had a 90% chance of killing him in the ring when it happened to him. That's how bad his neck break was. I didn't see the match, and I don't know if he walked out on his own accord or not, but he basically had a 90% shot in the ring dying from that injury. That's how they put it. So if you haven't seen the picture of the back of his neck, he basically has a scar from here to back of his head. That's They basically operated on the entire back of his neck. But that's... Horrible ending for that kid, man. He tried so hard to be somebody. He tried to, in the WWE. I know he put on five star matches with Neville and NXT, and you know he just was going somewhere finally with uh, Cesaro in the tag team division, and he got hurt. They shouldn't have had him double dipping in the gene pool. He shouldn't have been on the main roster and still wrestling on NXT. But that's the WWE's fault. Now they lost a great wrestler, um, and he's what I read. He's probably never going to see a wrestling ring again. So. If anybody knows him on Twitter or Facebook, I'd probably send my condolences, tell him how great of a wrestler he was. Um, and when I was speaking about Cesaro, we're in the best of this seven thing with uh, him and Sheamus. I still can't believe they're forcing the dude to wrestle. He legitimately had a back injury uh, in, that th in their third match when he got chucked into the turnbuckle or uh, into the ring post. But what I've read is his contract ending is very soon. And I've read Cesaro is going to leave the company, too. 
because he's not happy with his placement and how they're treating him. So they're going to lose another big star. Very soon, another one. But that, I, I shouldn't even, you know, I shouldn't even get into that, but, uh, yeah. Oh, and today they officially released Del Rio before um, this news conference came out. But uh, the big news is another superstar has quit. Um, it shouldn't be shocking to anybody following this story with Del Rio, but Paige has gotten a hold of some really good lawyers, and apparently they found a loophole in her contract, just like uh, Alberto Del Rio had, and she's quit the WWE. She's gone. Um, she'll still be successful. You can still make tons of money on the indie scene. I've checked it out, man. Matt Hardy can make fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand a match. That's damn good chicken scratch. Uh, you know, <laughs> I would wrestle once a month for that money. But if you're ambitious, like uh, when Alberto Del Rio first got uh, when he left the WWE, he was wrestling everywhere. So I can imagine what he was making. He was in Ring of Honor. He was in Lucha Underground. He was in New Japan. He was everywhere. Um. Let me make sure, let me make sure. Oh, but yes, Paige is supposedly gone. What a waste. Hot chick, she's done. Raw is really getting decimated, or it's going to get decimated, isn't it? But um, I should have said this before the Paige thing. Is uh, 2K18, uh, the legend returning for that video game is going to be Kurt Angle, and I guess that's when we're going to get a Kurt Angle return. He keeps saying that he wants to take a like a full couple years off and recover before he comes back to the WWE. But he's been hunt hinting at coming back to the WWE even when he's been TNA. Like he wanted to come back the next, like the very next day. So I guess when they start advertising for that game, we're going to start seeing Kurt Angle rumblings in WWE. I mean, uh, I'm still waiting for Goldberg to show up. He's saying it's happening and that he's coming back. Supposedly he's going to be fighting Goldberg at WrestleMania. I mean. Yeah, he's going to be fighting himself. He's going to be fighting Lesnar at WrestleMania. But I read some weird shit the other day that uh, he says he doesn't plan on losing when he comes back or that he's going to put it in his claws. And I don't see that happening. Um, I heard he wants a shit ton of money and he doesn't want to lose. So that could be the uh, the big factor in him not coming back. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Mad Viking out. Paige has quit. She's taking a walk. Leave a like. Hit subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, that's it. Catch you later.